place. Here's the bedroom. before we destroy everything. Ta -da! A hair dryer, hand towel, shower cubicle, toilet, door. This is a bedroom. We have hanging space there, a little desk, fridge with some agua, and um, some cups, kettle, and some tea and coffee. We also have a view of outside. There's a market going on today. It's Sunday, the first Sunday of the month. I'm not too sure when the market uh, goes on, all the certain dates. And there's this door that we can open and get fresh air like this. But it's very loud. So we'll close it for now. Check. Ready to have our first proper outing Barcelona for the first time. This is what the streets of Barcelona looks like. Or should I say the rumblers? It's the first Sunday, so everything's closed. Maybe focaccia bread with toppings on it. This is where I got it from. A lot of people strolling around the park today. Um, looking for a lake. Apparently you can um, rent a boat for about 30 minutes for a euro each. This blue lake is so beautiful. We should go up the stairs. 
It's got the sense. The dog is so proud of itself. <laughs> yeah. He is. And now he's getting oh he's getting a little little cups of water. Six euros for two people. Six euros to rent this boat for one to two people. I reckon that's a pretty good deal. The lake's very small and it's filled with a lot of boats. Filled with a lot of boats. This is where the river lake bit is. Beautiful. And then this park is where we are at now. So if you come to Chitwadella Park, you can hire a boat for six euros for one to two people. Um, it will cost more than what people you have. But uh, you can get this for half an hour. Half an hour is more than enough, don't worry. And uh, it's beautiful. Walking to the Arc de Triomphe. Walking to the Arc. It's right in front of the park, so if you're planning to visit, it's super close to one another. You can do it all in one go. Here at about six o'clock, and the weather is perfect. It's not too hot. It's not cold at all, um, and the crowd is okay. It's not crazy. So, ta-da! Asabatlo, one of the uniquely designed homes. We found the other casa seven minutes down the road from the other one. This one's less colourful, but it looks beautiful, more symmetrical. What's it got in the middle? It's like vanilla cream, but it has like a, a nutty coffee aroma to it. So we just circle whatever we want. We're at this restaurant called Ned Tapas, then Pat's. And we got this one. Just got sardines. This is salmon with avocado, that's mine, I chose that one. And this has got the cured meats on top. And then that, what it's called. Um, and the, what does it say? Bida sawa. And this one's coming. We also ordered a dish that's coming, a rice dish. And this is a sangria. tastes delicious. This I think is the most flavorful and delicious one. The fish is not fishy at all. 
um, put my favourite still with some cream. This is absolutely the best looking tapas I've ever seen. And that's the orang sia. Yum. So today um, is day two in Barcelona. This is our only full day in Barcelona. We're going to go to Park Guel or Quel, um, and also a few markets and oh, La Sagrada Familia. Is that how you say it? Yeah, that's one of the most famous monuments in Barcelona. And if we have time, going to the beach. So. Let's go. Market stop number one. It's, what is it, nine o'clock? Just after nine, so it's still pretty quiet in there. I, it's only a Monday morning, so I don't expect a lot of people to be here. Croquettes. It's like a deli. Cured fish. And fruits. That's like oh. a good size sandwich. This is my coffee with milk, and this is Matthew's Frappuccino. It is absolutely massive. Customize your own belt. This is what Matt made. A dark brown leather. Oh, that's what he chose. Jose Mr. Garcia. They'll punch the holes for you according to your sizes. You can choose your buckle upstairs. Just finished making our belts. They look absolutely stunning. Would just totally recommend. They're about. Do you remember the euro? I think it was like 30 euro each. No, they were 45. It's all fried goodies. That looks amazing. Empanada. We have to get an empanada. What? Empanada. We're gonna get a chorizo and cheese, cured meats. Oh, more drinks. I have aloe vera as well.
of Sagrada Familia, which is the massive building that's been in construction since the beginning of non-stop construction. It's an absolutely stunning building. This is the area where people take photos of the La Sagrada Familia because it has a good view. Wow. Walking to Park Huel. We took the cab from La Sagrada, La Sagrada Familia and it was only 9 euro. So I found out that uh, you have to book tickets online prior to going in. We walked up to the entrance gate and it was all sold out so uh, we don't have a chance to go into Park Guel today. Maybe next time. Just walking down the stairs because we walked all the way up. Lots of people were like standing outside trying to buy tickets but they were all sold out online as well so you can do. The restaurant called Sagrada da Paz. They have like a little outdoor section there, which is so cute. Okay. Lots of menu. 